morning guys welcome back to my channel so today is July 21st 2020 I am currently on my way to get my beta test done um, because we are out of the two-week wait so we're going to see if the six and final IUI was successful or not. So my appointment is at 645 um, and I am going to the Fairfax office for my blood work um, and at some point today they will um, uh, or my, uh, my nurse will call me with the results. Um, this weekend, um, I've just been relaxing, you know why? Because it's been hotter than three evil bitches outside every single day. Um, and even this morning, right now it's like 77 degrees outside, but it feels like 85. It is so hot. And me and heat don't agree. Like, um, even though I'm a summer baby, I can't stand the summertime I really can um, I'm not one of those people who like going swimming and hanging out at the parks and pools and family barbecues and all that oh hell no like me and the heat is not friends okay right now my house is 65 degrees <laughs> like all my windows are sweating my door is sweating my front door is sweating I just noticed that um, as I was leaving this morning um, so most of the, most of my activities are, are done indoors and I only leave the house um, if it is absolutely necessary, like right now. I mean, it's necessary I go get this blood work. Otherwise, I would have stayed my ass in the house. Um, so yeah, I don't want to ramble on too much because I have to, um, I want to add some clips and all of that stuff into this particular video before I upload it. Um, it probably won't be this Friday. It'll probably be next Friday when I upload it. So there's going to be a few additional clips that I need to add in. So I don't want to make this too long. So, um, I will circle back to you guys after the results. Hey guys, welcome back, um, to my channel. Uh, so I'm doing something different with my phone. I have it the other way, hoping that I will look at the lens and not away but obviously that's not working i don't know maybe it's psychological whatever <laughs> but um yeah so i wanted to come back real quick it is now it is still uh july the 21st 2020 it's results day um it's about 6 30 in the evening um i had my uh, blood work taken around 6 45 this morning um, I got the call from my, um, from my nurse around about, I'm gonna say two o'clock this evening. Um, and then after that, I, I just had to go to sleep. I mean, it's so hot, but, um, so I'm not going to delay. So the results are. So as you saw, um, my tests have been positive. Um, I have been trending positive on my pregnancy test since Friday, which I believe is a DPO 10. Um, and I've been testing every day on the first response. As you saw, the, um, the strips, the, the lines were getting darker and darker each day. And then of course on the digital, it said I was pregnant. Um, my numbers today, they wanted the number to be above 50 and my numbers were 375. Um, I have an appointment on Thursday. Um, so they want to make sure my numbers are doubling or more. Um, so I, I'm still processing. I've been processing actually ever since Friday and I've been hoping and praying that um, the positives that I've been getting hasn't been like... Um, 
like uh like chemical pregnancy positives or you know or negative positives or anything like that um but um I, i'm i'm very happy that the tests are positive positive i'm, I'm happy that the blood test came back as positive. I'm happy with my numbers, even though my numbers with the first pregnancy, uh, the first numbers were like 454. And then the second time it was like 1254 or something like that. So, um, but uh, each pregnancy is different. Um, I'm just happy that um, the sixth pregnancy, well, the sixth uh, cycle was successful. Um, which is definitely odd. Uh, I'm not going to say odd. It's just, so my first and second IUI failed. And then my third IUI was successful. Then that one ended in a missed miscarriage. And then my fourth and fifth IUI were unsuccessful. And now my sixth IUI is successful. Um, and the other, the, the strange thing about that for me is that um, I have OCD and my, my OCD, um, number is three. So I do everything in threes or I have everything in threes. So, um, so every third IUI has been successful. Um, God willing that this pregnancy go to term, then my child would be born in March, which is the third month. So, and, and not only that is the month of my mother's birth. So I'm just hoping and praying that, um, everything, um, everything works out and that this is a, a successful pregnancy and that I have a, a healthy, healthy baby. Um, but, um, everything is still new. Um, you know, we have a lot of hurdles to get through before we even get to that point. Um, so I will circle back to you guys on beta blood test day two, which is on Thursday. And then after that, um, once I get, hopefully, and God willing, those numbers are doubling and tripling um, and looking good, um, the next time I see you guys would be, after that, would be on ultrasound day, which would be, put me at about a little, little over six weeks, um, uh, which is right around the time, um, there should be a heartbeat. So... Um, I'm just going to hope and pray for the best guys. Um, but whatever happens, I know that you guys are here with me and we're, we're going to do this together. We're going to do it together. So I will see you guys on test day two. Hi guys. Welcome back. Um, today is july the 22nd 2020 um it's wednesday um so right now i am heading to to two places so one i am heading to cvs because um this particular cycle um i decided to go ahead and um and take the progesterone that was uh prescribed to me um probably like four cycles ago and I didn't take it um, during the first pregnancy um, but I decided to to go ahead and take it this pregnancy um, and just a note I don't have any issues with my progesterone levels but you know every little bit helps so whatever is going to help itty bitty to stick um, then um, then that's what I'm going to take. So, um, so right now I'm heading to, to CVS to pick up my prescription. My nurse, after she called me yesterday to give me the news that, um, that my pregnancy test was positive. Um, I asked her if they could refill, um, my progesterone. Um, I started taking it, um, DPO2 and I've been taking it ever since. Um, but I also took it last cycle, which means that's why I'm running low now. Um, and I need some, so I didn't want to run out um, or miss a, a dose. So, um, 
so yeah i'm going to pick up my prescription from cvs um my progesterone and then i am going to um chick-fil-a to get my weekly bags of ice i, I think i'm down to um literally one bag of ice now um so that means that i'm going to pick up four or five bags of ice um today um and that's normally what i do um i um I normally only have to make the run once a week. I normally try to do it on on Fridays, um, but I'm doing it today because I'm running low because it's been so fucking hot outside um, that um, I've been consuming a lot more liquids. And it's not that I'm outside a lot, but um, working from home, um, I do... Um, I do spend a lot of time going outside because I have my dogs and you know that they have to go out. So I take them out probably around about four or five times a day to go to the bathroom. And when I go out there, it just takes all my energy away. Like that heat just knocks me out. I just cannot take the heat. So I've been consuming a lot more liquids um, than I normally would. Um, so that's why I ran out um, sooner. Um, I'm going to, uh, go to my, um, my appointment tomorrow for my second beta test, um, so we can see and make sure that my numbers are going up. Um, and then, uh, as I mentioned in the last clip, I'm pretty sure that that same appointment, they're going to schedule my ultrasound for probably the following week, which would put me at a little over six weeks. Um, um, and then after that, I think I would have another um, ultrasound with them, if I can remember. Um, I have two ultrasounds with them before they released me to my OBGYN. So um, what I'm going to do today is actually call my OB just to give her a heads up that um, that God willing, one, that this pregnancy sticks, and then two, that, um, that I will be seeing them um, probably, it'll definitely be next month, but it'll probably be in the middle of next month or something like that. Because I think, uh, I think if I can remember clearly, I think I saw them um, when I was a little over seven weeks, seven to eight weeks uh, is when I had um, my first appointment with them as being pregnant. And then not too long after that, unfortunately, is when I had the mis miscarriage. So, and then ended up having to have, um, have my OB to perform the uh, DNC. So... So yeah, so a lot is going on right now. Um, I'm trying not to spend too much time outside. I'm trying um, to, to limit my interactions with people just in general. So I won't be having a lot of people coming to my house, even though there's no one comes to my house anyway, but I just, um, I'm just gonna be more cautious about that uh, because I cannot afford to get sick. Um, and so yeah that's that's what's going on i just wanted to come and do a, a short clip um i will circle back to you guys tomorrow after i get the results back from um from uh my second blood test and then um fill you guys in on when my uh, ultrasound date will be so i'll see you guys tomorrow morning guys today is july the 22nd 2020 um i went to my second beta test today this morning it was around 6 45 i was running extremely late i thought i was going to be super late because i woke up uh late um ooh, my face is ashy sorry guys um, <laughs> but um um so yeah i was almost late for my appointment um but i made it there just in time um, so my blood test was taken today and I will have my results, um, probably around about two or three o'clock this evening. Um, I am currently in my office as you guys can see. I'll do a, um, I'll do a 
room reveal type thing because I've made a lot of changes in my home office. Uh, but I'll do that probably a little later on. But um, I made a, as you can see there here, um, I blew up my air mattress in, um, in my office um, because I was feeling kind of um, uh, kind of icky, you know, um, and I didn't want to take off for the day, um, even though I work from home. So, and then I didn't want to go down into my bedroom, um, and I wanted to still be able to get some work done. So, my computer is there, if you can see. <laughs> um, so, um, I'm just, uh, I blew up my air mattress so I can, like, lay down for a few minutes in between, um, trying to get some work done. Um, but that's pretty much it. I don't want to make this video too long. Um, I will circle back to you guys when I get the results. Okay. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, today is still July the 23rd. Um, and as you saw in the, in the previous clip, I had my, um, my second blood test done today. And I just got a call from my nurse. It is now like 3.15 in the evening. Um, so my first numbers on Tuesday were 375, uh, and of course they wanted the numbers to double, um, and my numbers today were 1401. So, um, yeah, it's official and my numbers are going up. Um, so I am scheduled for my, um, first ultrasound on August the 7th. So since that's two weeks from now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and upload this this Friday so you guys can see where I am, but we're in it now, guys. So I, I am happy. Um, I can breathe a little easier now, um, but we still got, got a ways to go. So I will upload this this Friday, and then the next time I see you guys will be on Ultrasound Day. Bye.